from the Shark Tank on the campus of May River High School. This is WHHI's presentation of high school basketball on this start of the 2021 season. Hi everybody, Marcus Walsh with you. I'm gonna be providing all the play-by-play -play action for you this year on WHHI Sports with girls and guys action. Joining me, the great crew, it's a little bit smaller than usual, but still mighty, Larry Jackamot and Jeremy Pope. The ball is at midcourt. Al Hammonds, Beatrice Anderson, and James Williams are your officials. The 2021 season is underway with the Hilton Head Seahawks getting the basketball, working it from outside in. There's a jumper, and it is pure from number 23 for the Hilton Head Seahawks. That is a pure jumper to start the ball game. That is China Fields making it two to nothing. And now here is Jordan Bigham with the basketball. She kicks it over and May River with it now. They are a physical bunch going inside and corralling the basketball is number 22, Charlotte Van Hoovel. Nice pass outside and a jumper is good for number 14, Kennedy Palmer, point guard, sophomore, five foot two. So we are tied at two, about a minute in to this one. That basketball is gonna go out of bounds off the hand of number four, Janiah Farabee. She's a point guard, shooting guard, small forward. Remember her from last year, she is a sophomore. Basketball going back to May River, 2-2 two -two tie, a little over a minute in. Going on the inside and we've got a whistle and a turnover as number 22, Charlotte Van Den Hoovel had the basketball, I think she took too many steps. Here with it now is Janiah Farabee, number four. Guarding Janiah Farabee is Kennedy Palmer. Farabee with a pass to the outside. Hilton Head comes in with a record as that pass goes to the outside and it's corralled nicely by Swinton on the inside. She's gonna put it up and got it to go. Nice play from Swinton. It's a four to two ball game. May River working it on the outside. Nice passing around the perimeter. There's a jumper a little bit off the mark and the rebound by number 20 for Hilton Head, that is Jaden Lopko. Nice pass to the outside. This is Linda Young with the basketball. Young gonna put it up, not gonna get it to go. Rebound chance for Hilton Head and a little bit short for Anna Genova. Remember Anna Genova from a year ago, she is now a junior and one of the great players on this Hilton Head team. Obviously Hilton Head losing Miley Ray and Morgan Wright, a couple of big losses for those seniors, but they did a heck of a job in their Hilton Head careers. Ball goes out of bounds off a missed shot. 534 remaining in the quarter, four to two in favor of the guests from Hilton Head. Five and a half to play. Again, our officials, in case you didn't catch them as we just got underway, Al Hammonds, Beatrice Anderson, and James Williams. Here is Caroline O'Brien being guarded by Jordan Bingham, 20 on 20. Nice pass to the outside. And here with the basketball now is Janiah Farabee, stolen away by May River. They're gonna go on the inside and put that shot up and good for Kennedy Palmer. So Kennedy Palmer makes it a 4-4 tie with 4.54 remaining in the quarter. Here is number 23, China Fields. She gets bumped and we've got a stoppage with four minutes and 46 seconds left. Fields will deliver it inside to Linda Young. Young on a drive, she'll put it up ring around the rim and it didn't go down. Number 22, Charlotte Van Hoovel. Van Den Hoovel with the rebound. Van Den Hoovel kicks it over to Ariana Bevins. That shot's a little bit off the mark. Nice play by number zero, Anna Genova, and she kicks it through the inside. Here is Young putting that up. Nice touch for Linda Young. She got it to go. 
And it is a six to four Hilton Head lead. May River gonna work it inside. May River a winner in a game that we had last February here on WHHI Sports as that ball's gonna go out of bounds. May River a winner 44 to 29 in that matchup last February 4th. And we have a substitution, it looks like, as Hilton Head is gonna get the basketball. Four minutes to play in a six to four ball game in favor of Hilton Head. Young tried to go with the left hand and it was stripped right away by Kennedy Palmer, the point guard sophomore having a fine start to this one as she ties it up at six with a little lay in. Here's Young. Palmer's working really hard on Young, sticking to her like glue. We've got a whistle with 3.37 to go. And a little bit of a push there, says Beatrice Anderson. And the basketball now is going to be in the favor of the Carolina Blue uniformed Hilton Head Seahawks. Nice pass to the outside as Carolina O'Brien gets it stolen away. Here is Kennedy Palmer. She continues to be a force for May River. And without the Peluso sisters, that's going to be a big key to get some of these younger players involved and making things happen for Jermaine Bigham's May River Sharks. 3.20 to play as we had a turnover there. And now Hilton Head back with the basketball. It is number 23, China Fields. Nothing like some fine china, as I like to say. Fields trying to work inside, but May River with several players getting to her. She throws one up, and Bingham comes down with the rebound. Rather, Bingham comes down with the rebound. And now with the basketball is number 32, McKenna Swinton. Swinton kicks it over, and it's stolen away. Hilton Head has a two-on-one situation, throwing up the shot anyway was Anna Genova, 2.46 to play in a 6-6 tie. Hilton had third in Region 7-4A. May River fourth in the region. 0-1 in league play is May River, 3-3 three three on the year. And Hilton had a 2-5 on the season as that ball goes out of bounds. One and two in league play for the Seahawks. And the head coach of the Hilton Head Seahawks is Russell Rasniewski. I actually uh, worked on that a, a couple of times earlier today. This is his first year with the Seahawks taking over for Sean Rochester. Russell has a very vast Resume, which I'll get to here in just a second, as May River with the basketball. Two minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the quarter and a tie at six. Pass goes inside, going up, and hitting the deck is Morgan Scott. Rasniewski, a former May River assistant, has had about two years' worth of experience Coaching in the Low Country, coached for Hannah Pamplico, and uh, was a tenure assistant at West, at West Florence. As at the free throw line for May River is number 21, Morgan Scott, 6'6 six, six, tied, 220 to go. Coming in is number 12, Mackenzie Chronimus. She is a captain shooting guard and a 5'5 five five senior as Scott again at the free throw line. Puts the next one up, too strong. Nice rebound there from Swinton. She kicks it over. And Mackenzie Chronimus will kick it back to Ariana Bevins. Nearly stolen by Hilton Head, but Bevins did a good job to corral it. Here is Scott, or rather Swinton. There's a jumper, Swinton didn't quite get that to go. And the rebound for May River, they get an extra possession. We'll see what they decide to do with it. They're going a lot with the perimeter passing and Hilton Head really trying to work the paint defensively in a zone look. 
Swinton's pass is tipped. She gets it back. Down to a minute 36 remaining in the opening quarter. For the basketball is Carolyn Mullins. Kicks it over to Swinton and a little bit of a shuffling of the shoes, I do believe, on the Hilton Head side. One minute, 28 seconds to go. As you take a look at Russell Rasniewski. One minute, 28 seconds left. Both teams with five timeouts left. First quarter, one minute and 28 seconds remaining. And here with the basketball for Hilton Head is number four, Janiah Farabee. Takes a leaner, won't get it to go. Will she be able to corral it? No, it goes out of bounds. One minute, 16 seconds left. And inbound for May River is number 12, Mackenzie Chronimus. Chronimus finds number 10, Ariana Bevins. Bevins back to Chronimus. Hilton Head giving Chronimus some space. Pass nearly stolen away from Janiah Faraby. Here is Chronimus. That pass a little bit too strong inside and Hilton Head's gonna get it back. 51 seconds to play, stolen away. Nice play there by number 10, Ariana Bevins. She corrals it, pulls it back out. We'll see if she decides to slow it down. It seems to be pretty up-tempo so far here in this matchup. Working outside in, there's a jumper a little bit too strong for Macy Dow, point guard, shooting guard, sophomore, listed at five foot four. And Hilton Head with a chance to end the quarter with possibly some points with the basketball is Janiah Farabee. She's gonna throw one up way off to the left Rebound, and Genova was trying to put it back. Here's O'Brien, she's gonna find a leaner, and it didn't go with 10.6 to go. A whistle inside as O'Brien had a little bit of action in there taking the shot, and she'll be shooting two from the free throw line. Passing O'Brien the basketball was our head official, Al Hammonds. O'Brien, a great passer on this basketball team. Working on some other sides of her game. 10.6 seconds to go, 6-6 six, six tie. O'Brien dribbles, fires, and connects. As it's a 7-6 basketball game, M.A. River with it. This possession should end the quarter. With the basketball is Morgan Cronimus. Gronimus kicks it over and the shot ended up being short by Ariana Bevins and that's the end of a very fast paced first quarter. It's seven to six, May River with the edge at home. Second quarter action next on WHHI Sports TV. We'll be right back. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. It's a time when uncertainty spreads faster than understanding. It's also a time when taking steps to prepare can help us all find a sense of security. At ServPro, helping our nation's homes, businesses, and shared spaces be more clean, be more safe, is why we're here. Here in your community, here to help. Welcome you back. Second quarter action here 
from the Shark Tank, Marcus Walsh, Larry Jackamot, and Jeremy Pope with you here at May River High School. May River with a 7-6 lead and working perimeter passing really well, hitting some shots in that first quarter as well as that attempt a little bit too strong as number 23, China Fields, comes down with it for Hilton Head. What a first quarter for May River's Number 14, Kennedy Palmer. She was all over the place. A huge factor in that first quarter. 25 seconds in to quarter number two. Driving inside was Farabee. She kicks it over to Genova. Genova on the inside and throwing up a shot was number 22, Linda Young. Linda is a power forward, small forward wing player and a freshman and a very good young player. As a matter of fact, Linda Young was very impressive in Hilton Head's last game. It was a loss 34-31 to Buford. Linda Young had 17 points. Seven minutes, 23 seconds to go in the quarter. And Linda Young makes it an eight to six ball game. Nice pass from outside in. Wheeling it up and getting it to roll is number 22, Charlotte Van Den Heuvel. Small forward senior, five foot seven. And she got that to go. As here's Fields kicking it over to Genova. That's a little bit short. Rebound inside and trying to get some action. Inside was number 22, Linda Young. And Linda Young being a Big force inside for the Hilton Head ladies. Hilton Head will get the basketball with Farabee on the inbound. She kicks it over to Young. Farabee's got it back. She's going to drive inside. That's going to come up well short. Morgan Scott there defending, and now Morgan Scott in a little bit of a tangle with the basketball. Six minutes, 46 seconds remaining in the quarter. May Rivers' last game came against Bluffton. It was a loss 35 to 14. And May River with the basketball here. Here's Jordan Bigham, very good player. Of course, the daughter of Jermaine Bigham, who is the head coach. Jermaine's done a great job with this May River team over the years. Pass goes inside, a little bit too strong for Morgan Scott. Morgan Scott, a freshman. Six minutes, 33 seconds to play in an 8-8 tie. May River, the home team in the white with the basketball. Taking the jumper is Bigham, won't go. And Anna Genova right there inside to get the rebound. Genova kicks it over to Faraby. She's gonna take it across the floor. Faraby. Works it inside to Scott. Rather young, I'm sorry. That pass is going to be picked up by Linda Young. She's battling for it. Linda Young doing a nice job on some 50-50 opportunities. And we've got a whistle at 6.07, a timeout. We'll be right back after this on WHHI. Hi, I'm Jeff Altoff with Low Country Insurance. Our Low Country Insurance team is here to help your family and business with all your insurance needs. We're local families helping local families. Let me introduce you to the rest of the team. Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Dana. Hi, I'm Kathy. Hi, I'm Rich. Hey, I'm Rhonda. Low Country Insurance is a trusted choice independent insurance agency. So let us be part of your team. Welcome back to the Shark Tank, 6.06 remaining. Hilton Head with the basketball, maybe not now, as driving inside was Macy Dow. And May River will retain possession. Morgan Chronimus will inbound. And it looks like she's gonna find 
her sister Mackenzie. Mackenzie is senior, Morgan is a sophomore. Here's Bigham, nice pass inside and now they're gonna work it back out. There's a jumper from the outside and it's good for Morgan Chronimus. The shooting guard, sophomore, five foot three, makes it a 10-8 May River lead with five minutes and 34 seconds remaining. Fair beyond a drive, a whistle, and a stoppage in the action. And a foul on, on Kennedy Palmer. And at the free throw line is Janaya Faraby. Janiah Faraby, very quick, very scrappy. And while wow, she's looking to get better as a lot of these players are, she's a tough competitor. 10-8, stolen away by Faraby as she makes a play. We saw a lot of Janiah Faraby a year ago. So there was a push there. Five minutes, 26 seconds remaining in the quarter. And Faraby going to the free throw line again. 10 to eight. Five minutes, 26 seconds left in the first half. Faraby takes the jumper, from, or takes a shot from the line. That was a one and one and it didn't go. So meaning if she would have made it, she would have gotten another. 10-8 ball game, there's Bigham, pure from the outside. That's a big shot from Jordan Bigham. It was close to being a three, but she had a foot on the line. Two-pointer and a 12-8 ball game. Chronimus working on Fairview, delivers it. And on the inside, May River with a steal. As with the basketball was Linda Young, and as well, China Fields on that Hilton Head possession. Chronimus to Bingham from the outside. That was a three from behind the line. She gets fouled. She's going to the free throw line to shoot three. Four minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Jordan Bingham, the singer, the senior. She's a captain. Can play the point. Predominantly the shooting guard. Five foot 11 as she gets that to go. Thirteen to eight. And that one also is true. Fourteen eight, May River with a lead. Here's Faraby working on Faraby is Victoria Mice. Faraby finds a little space, delivers it to the outside for Macy Dow. Now the pass inside to Fields and a little bit of a bump there inside. Four minutes, 26 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Faraby will inbound. She delivers it to O'Brien. O'Brien kicks it over to number 11, Hope Dabelaire. May River will have the basketball now, 422 remaining in the first half. Marcus Walsh, Larry Jackamot, and Jeremy Pope with you here from the Shark Tank. Here's Morgan Cronimus, her pass. And that shot went down. It's 16 to eight as Ariana Bevins delivers. Four minutes left, Faraby lost contain and control. And the basketball is gonna go out of bounds. Three minutes, 57 seconds left. In a 16-8 ball game as May River's starting to pull away a little bit. Here's a three from the outside. That's true for number 10, Ariana Bevins. She knocks that baby down. I'll take all three of those, and it's an 11-point ball game. There's a jumper from Linda Young 
A whistle inside as she got bumped. And Linda Young is gonna be going to the free throw line where she will be shooting two. Strong competitor is Linda Young. She can play everywhere. A great shooter, especially from the line. Very good offensive mindset as she cuts the deficit to 10. And the next one is a little bit strong. And Jordan Bigham with the rebound. Bigham finds Chronimus. Or rather, Bevins. Bevins with the inside pass to Morgan Scott. That's a little bit off the mark to the right. Going to try it again. No. Will she get a third chance off the bounce? She had the basketball. And I think got a little bit tangled up. Morgan Chronimus inbound. Three minutes, 18 seconds remaining. 19 to nine in favor of May River. As exiting is number 23, China Fields. For Hilton Head, May River with the possession stolen away by Hilton Head. Here's their chance for an easy deuce. And connecting and finishing is number zero, Anna Genova. Anna Genova, shooting guard, she's a junior. Has played very well for Hilton Head over the years. May River with the basketball. Bigham, Bigham with an outside shot that doesn't go. It's going to go out of bounds. And the possession will stay with May River as Chronimus will inbound. And fire on the outside. There's a jumper from Victoria Mice. It doesn't go. She gets her own board. With two minutes and 48 seconds remaining, or 250 remaining, the shot clock stopped momentarily. Now it's back. 244 left. And Hilton Head trails 19 to 11. With the basketball is number 22, Linda Young. Working on her is Morgan Chronimus. Young swings it over to Alex Fisher. And we had a whistle inside. It's going to be turned over. Two minutes, 26 seconds left, 19-11. May River will have possession. With it will be number 32, McKenna Swinton. Swinton, five foot four, sophomore point guard. She kicks it over. May River doing a really nice job working outside in, and they're knocking a few more shots down. That's why they've got this 19-11 lead. Two minutes and 13 seconds remaining here in quarter number two. Here is Anna Genova. Kicks it to the outside for Alex Fisher. There's a jumper off the mark to the left by Linda Young. A rare miss for Linda Young with the ball in her hands here tonight. Here's Swinton. Nice pass inside. That shot going to come up a little bit short from number 21. That's Morgan Scott. And it's going back to Linda Young and the Seahawks. Young going to try to drive and working on her is number 15, Morgan Chronimus. The ball turned over. May River with the basketball. They're going to go across the floor. Nice pass inside, putting it up and getting it to go is number 21, Morgan Scott. She's got one more coming from the free throw line as Morgan Scott threw it up on the right side with a right hand, and it went down. Nothing but nylon for Morgan Scott. 21 to 11 with 75 seconds remaining in the half. One more coming for the freshman. And 
And she didn't get that. 21 to 11. And Scott is going to get set to dribble a couple of times, puts it up, got that one. 22 to 11 is Scott lost her footing, but is helped back up by Hilton Ed. Nice play of sportsmanship there from the Seahawks. As with the basketball is Linda Young. Young faked right, moved to the left, dribbling inside, putting that up, not going to get it to go. And Anna Genova looked to have a little bit of contact on, on her. Fifty-two seconds remaining in the first half. Anna Genova quick. She's long and athletic, and she's been around this team a long time. A great shot blocker also is the junior for the Seahawks. A little bit strong on that free throw attempt, though. 52 seconds remaining in the quarter, 22 to 11 in favor of the May River Sharks. That's a little bit off the mark, and corralling it well is Linda Young. Young, nice pass inside to Farabee, and number 22, Charlotte Vanden Heuvel, says not this time. That's not going to happen, but Farabee's going to go to the free throw line for the trouble and get two shots as Vanden Heuvel got a little bit too much contact there. That free throw is smooth for Farabee as Bigham comes back in for the May River Sharks. Dribbling the basketball and putting it up and getting it to go is Farabee. It's 22 to 13 with 42 seconds remaining. Working outside in, that's the way May River likes to do things. On the offensive side, Bigham finds number 32, that's McKenna Swinton. That's a little bit off the mark and the rebound goes back to Linda Young. She's gonna put it up and get it to go with a soft touch from the right side of the paint. 22 to 15, Hilton Head hanging around. 15 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Down to about 10 seconds. Pass is stolen away and will go out of bounds with seven and nine tenths of a second left in the second quarter. May River with the basketball. Here's Bevins kicking it over to Swinton. That pass to the outside. Swinton's going to take a three, and it's going to come up short. 22 to 15, May River with the lead at the end of the first half. A very fast-paced and very good first half. A lot of made shots and great basketball all the way around. We'll be back with the second half shortly here on WHHI Sports TV. Come on back. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you, Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center, and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton.
We welcome you back to the Shark Tank here on WHHI Sports. Marcus Walsh, Jeremy Pope, Larry Giacomot with you again here at the Shark Tank. Our score, 22 to 15, entering the second half as both teams getting ready to head back out onto the court. The visiting Hilton Head Seahawks in the Carolina blue and white. And they've got the basketball, the May River Sharks on defense as you see them there on your television screen in the white and dark blue. Hilton Head with the basketball and again, the deficit of 22 to 15 as their opening possession ends up being a turnover. It's going back the other way. With the basketball for May River is Ariana Bevins. She's got it, she kicks it over Jordan Bigham. Four three, nothing but nylon. Smooth and silky for Jordan Bigham. And it's 24 to 15. She's starting to find it from the outside. There's a three a little bit off the mark from Hilton Head and the rebound, Jordan Bingham. Bingham with a, a good first half, but what a job by Kennedy Palmer, especially in that first quarter, as going inside, getting it to go is Morgan Scott. And just like that, we've got a timeout with 7.07 remaining in the third quarter. 26 to 15, we're gonna take this time out with them on WHHI Sports, be right back. H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision to mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Welcome back. Inside one minute to one minute gone by here in the third quarter. Number 10 with the basketball, Ariana Bevins. Jordan Bingham, that's nearly stolen away by Janaya Farabee. Bevins with it back. Working on her were both Farabee and China Fields. With the basketball for May River is Charlotte Vanden Heuvel. She kicks it over to Jordan Bigham. Bigham, nice pass outside to Bevins, who kicks it inside. And number 22, Charlotte Vanden Heuvel, is going to the line. Scoreboard says 26 to 15, with 6.33 remaining. And that free throw not gonna go. Rebound off the missed opportunity to Hilton Head. They're gonna drive. And with the basketball is Linda Young. There's a whistle. Six minutes, 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter as a little bit of action from Kennedy Palmer there. The inbound, and it's number 22, Linda Young with the basketball. Going inside and not being able to connect there is Janiah Farabee, but she's going to end up inbounding it. 6.19 remaining in the quarter. And did Hilton Head touch that basketball? Number 23, China Fields was the intended target. She did not touch it. And here's Geneva kicking it over to number 22, Linda Young as Faraby threw one up, and it's going back the other way. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining.
Nice pass from Bigham. That's a little bit off the mark, and it'll go out of bounds with 6.05 remaining here in the third. Hilton Head comes in four and two. They have given up 275 points. They've scored 221 coming into this game. 552 remaining. And Farabee going to the free throw line. She dribbles a couple of times, fires the high arcer off the back of the iron. Let's see what she does on this next one. She fires, and that one's a little bit off the mark as well. So May River with the lead, a substantial one at the moment. Working outside, Bigham, no. Rebound to Hilton Head and throwing it right back to May River. Working inside is Caroline, or Carolyn Mullins, and Mullins working on a couple of Hilton Head defenders as she was in the middle of three players there on the right side. And Chronimus, as in Morgan Chronimus, will inbound the basketball. Nice pass, Bingham didn't get that to go. And it's gonna go out of bounds off the hands of Jordan Bingham. Back to Hilton Head, they're trying to cut into this double digit deficit. 26 to 15. Working outside is China Fields. Fields working in and she got hit as she was going to try to lean, lean that one in, in the lane. And Going to the free throw line. May River 2 0 against Tilton Head a year ago. Mentioned that game that we saw earlier last year, about midway through the season last year, February 4th. Tilton Head a winner. Or rather, May River a winner in that game. 44 to 29. As Fields missed, 515 remaining. 26 to 17. Working outside. Is May River, nice steal there by Hilton Head, and then May River comes right back, steals it back. A little steal for steal. Action is the basketball ended up being on the May River side of the floor. And May River's gonna get possession with five minutes and one second remaining. Six seniors lost by this May River team. It's, uh, wow. 80% of the program's career points led by those seniors also rebounds, steals, and assists. So it's definitely a young group that May River has, but they're playing well. And again, very impressed with the Chronomus sisters, Kennedy Palmer early on. There's a jumper from the outside, no. And Bigham, of course, is a senior and, and doing senior leadership things on this basketball team, 4.34 remaining, 26-17. Bevins gonna kick it outside. There's a jumper from Bigham. No, she gets her own rebound, puts it up with the right hand. From the left side, no, gets another rebound and gets a little bit of contact inside as she tried to go up a third time. Morgan Chronimus will inbound, kick it over to Macy Dow. Ariana Bevins working it back to Morgan Chronimus. Here's Bigham, nice pass inside. Really good inside action, that shot too strong. 
for May River, and it's going the other way with 4.03 to play. And a whistle inside as Farabee was driving to the hole. She couldn't have a chance at a shot there. Ball turned over, and it's going back to May River. May River again, 224 points scored, 229 given up so far on the year. Working inside, trying to get a leaner to go as Morgan Scott, it won't. And the rebound goes to Hilton Head. Here's Farabee. Farabee, the sophomore, gives it up to number 22, Linda Young. And we've got a whistle with three minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Russell Razanewski looking on as that pass is stolen away. It went off a couple of Hilton Head players and it's going into the arms of Bevins. She's going to drive, manages to stay in bounds before hitting the baseline. And now she's going to pull it back out. Here's Macy Dow. Bevins kicks it over to Morgan Chronimus. Dow over to Bigham. Again, working outside are the Sharks. That pass goes off of Anna Genova. She's trying to plead her case. And it works. As it looked like it went off Anna Genova, but there was a May River player right there. So a little bit of contact with the basketball going to Hilton Head. Two minutes, 51 seconds left. There's a jumper, it's flat. And the rebound from O'Brien. Now the jumper is pure for number 23. That's China Fields, nothing like some fine China. 26-19 with 2.35 remaining in the third. May River with the basketball. And a steal by Janaya Faraby. She's going to take it, not get it to go, but there to clean it up is Linda Young. 26-21. Hilton Head's coming back. We've got a timeout, and we will be right back after this on WHHI Sports. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. We are back here at the Shark Tank. Marcus Walsh, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamot with you here on WHHI Sports. And we got to see Lisa Richardson earlier on stopping by the press area. Lisa, one of the anchors of 843 TV, and she does a lot of stuff on air for WHHI. Always great to see Lisa. As that jumper goes for number 11, Macy Dow, 28-21, a touchdown lead for May River with two minutes remaining in the third. Going inside was Geneva kicking it out. That shot comes up a little bit short for Fields, and it's going back the other way, Bevins. Kicks it over to Chronimus. Chronimus to Dow, and that's pure. As Macy Dow, the point guard, shooting guard, sophomore, five foot four, delivers to make it 30 to 21. And a steal attempt. But it goes out of bounds off of Macy Dow. The Carolina Blue Platted Hilton Head Seahawks with the basketball down by nine with a minute 31 remaining in the third. Multiple whistles. And Janiah Faraby will inbound the basketball. The home May River Sharks in white and navy blue.
as James Williams will give Faraby the basketball, and we're back to action. There's a three. Get it! Nailing a three is number 11 for Hilton Ed Hope Double Air. What a shot! And it's 30 to 24. Here's Dow. Kicks it over to Bingham. Back to Dow. She's got a little bit of space. Here's Chronimus. Nice pass inside to Dow. Bigum. That's a little bit off the mark of the rebound to Anna Genova. Inside, one minute to play in the third. Here is Farabee. She's going to throw her hands up as she loses the basketball. 55.8 seconds to go. As you take a look at Beatrice Anderson, one of our officials firing in the basketball to May River. 48 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 30 to 24 in favor of May River. Hilton Ed's really played well though, and May River has two as Dow delivers to make it a 32-24 ball game. Eight point game, 30 seconds to play. Here is number 11, Hope Dobelair, and that basketball is gonna go out of bounds. Clock will stop at 22.4 seconds. And the Sharks with the 32-24 lead. Inbounding is Victoria Mice. She gets it back. Mice kicks it over to Bigham. Bigham getting double teamed and China Fields there to put some pressure on her. She loses the basketball. It goes out of bounds, but it goes off of Fields. So May River will corral it. Stolen away. Janiah Farabee all alone, put that up, no. And a near steal attempt for number 23. I beg your pardon, number 22, Charlotte Vanden Heuvel. But she couldn't corral it before she hit the baseline and the wall back there. So Hilton Head with a possession and a jumper and it's pure for number 11. For Hilton Head, Hope Double Air, and that'll end the third quarter. 32 27, May River with the lead at home. The fourth quarter of this rivalry game next on WHHI Sports. We go to the fourth quarter here at the Shark Tank. May River in white. Hilton Head in the Carolina blue. Marcus Walsh, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackham on with you. And our score 32-26 as we start quarter number four. Hilton Head with a six point deficit and the basketball. Nice pass goes inside to Carolina O'Brien. And Caroline was heading, looked like she was working her way to the free throw line, but it's gonna be possession, Hilton Head, as they are trying to cut down this six point deficit. Faraby kicks it over to number 11, Hope Dabalair. Dabalair's hit some big shots recently, Genova. Stick it to Genova like glue was that May River defense. Wow. Impressive. Faraby over for three is Fields not going to go, and the rebound goes to number 22, Charlotte Vanden Heuvel. Here's Bigham. Double teamed is Bigham. She's going to have to try to do something. And a whistle blows. As I think there was a little bit of a violation there. 
6.53 remaining in the ball game. 32-26, and Jordan Bingham will end up getting the basketball to inbound. Nice pass inside, Bingham gonna turn around, got that to go off glass. Jordan Bingham with a heck of a shot with a right hand from the right side of the paint. She can definitely do that and so much more as it's 34-26. Six minutes and 32 seconds left in regulation. Janaya Farabee. Gonna work it inside. Jennifer not gonna get that to go. And it's going back the other way. May River with a basketball and an eight point lead. With it is Victoria Mice. Mice. Hung on to it. We've got whistles. 6.08 remaining. And it looks like a timeout indeed. We'll be right back. 6.08 left, 34.26 on WHHI Sports. Getting back to business relies on giving customers the confidence to walk back through your doors. It's no wonder so many are putting their trust in ServPro, number one choice for cleanup and restoration. With ServPro, our expert cleaning helps reduce the spread of viral pathogens. This goes way beyond janitorial cleaning. Adhering to CDC standards and using proprietary EPA-approved disinfectants, put the certified ServPro Clean Shield in your window and tell customers you're committed to a higher standard of clean. For a free quote, visit ServPro.com. Welcome back to the tank here on WHHI Sports. The Sharks with the basketball. There's a jumper from just inside the three-point three point line. Got to bounce off the rim and in. Victoria Mice delivering on deep two range there as it's 36-26. Hilton Head back down by 10. Nice pass from Young to Fields. Fields gets hit and will get back up. Five minutes, 43 seconds left. China Fields, strong hands, does a great job handling the point when needed, plays wing predominantly. Janiah Faraby. Well, inbound, nice pass inside to Anna Genova. She didn't get that to go, but looks like she's going to be heading to the free throw line. Five minutes, 42 seconds left. Anna Genova from the stripe. Genova, six foot, forward and center. Again, long and athletic, very quick on the floor. We haven't really seen it so far, but she can block shots also. 36-26, Genova will get the second one. That's a little bit too strong, and the rebound to Jordan Bigham. Bigham finds Ariana Bevins. Bevins to Dow. Ariana gets it back, fires it inside to Morgan Scott. There's a jumper a little bit flat from Victoria Mice, and here is Janiah Faraby going like the roadrunner down the floor. Boy, she can move. She's going to try a three. A little bit too strong. Nice play by O'Brien to get that rebound, get some contact inside, and Caroline O'Brien with a heck of a play. She's going to the line. A great passer of the basketball, still trying to work out the rest of her game, but she's very intelligent. Misses that free throw a little bit short. And we saw her last year. She is a sophomore, 36-26. Five minutes, 10 seconds remaining. That's gonna be an air ball. And it's 5.09 left in regulation. 10-point lead for May River. 
Marcus Walsh, Larry Jackamock, Jeremy Pope with you. Gustavo Ratti will join us a little bit later on in the year as well. May River corralling the basketball and they're gonna get the possession on offense here from the front court. Here is Morgan Chronimus. Kicks it over to Ariana Bevins. That shot's gonna come up short and the rebound. Chronimus, a little bit too strong. Mackenzie Chronimus gonna try now. Morgan couldn't do it. Mackenzie battling for the basketball. And helping Mackenzie up is number 21, Morgan Scott. Four minutes, 43 seconds left. And it looks like we have another timeout. And we are going to take a commercial. Be right back on WHHI Sports. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. We welcome you back. As going inside, not getting it to go is May River on the first time. That second one not going to go. Jordan Bigham comes down with the rebound. Looks like she got fouled. Four minutes, 39 seconds remaining, and the score remains 36 to 26. And Jordan Bigham is not heading to the line. It'll be May River possession. Bigham, very high IQ, an all-time leader in block shots, all-time in scoring, assists, and rebounding. All-time top five, I should say, in scoring, assists, and rebounding. And, of course, the daughter of Jermaine Bigham, who's the head coach. The May River Sharks have 11 out of 14 players with GPAs of 4.0. Wow. That's, that's incredible. And I've mentioned Charlotte Vanden Heuvel's name a lot here tonight. She is a senior, but a newcomer to this team and playing really well here tonight. 36-26, 4-26 remaining in the ball game. Working on the outside, nearly stolen away by Anna Genova, but May River will corral it. As number 32, that is Morgan Scott. Gonna kick it over to Bigham. Rather, 32's McKenna Swinton. And that ball is lost and hitting the deck is Morgan Chronimus, but she gets back up. And Chronimus will go to the free throw line. Rolls the basketball, dribbles it, rolls and dribbles again. All about the routine, folks. Miss that. And there goes Farabee. She's got those long strides working on the hardwood. Three minutes and 52 seconds left. That three a little bit too strong. And the rebound goes to May River. They have a chance to extend this 10-point lead. And losing the basketball's May River momentarily. It's still on the floor as number 10, Ariana Bevins, couldn't quite corral it. Three minutes, 37 seconds to go in the ball game. May River with a 36-26 lead. Marcus Walsh, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamock with you. Here at the Shark Tank, Hilton Head with possession. Janiah Farabee gonna kick it over to 
a newcomer to the ball game for Hilton Head. It's number one. That's Emily Fister. Emily Fister into the ball game for Hilton Head. May River with it. Morgan Cronimus lost it. Going back the other way. Here on a drive, putting it up and not getting it to fall is Alex Fisher. Called Alex's name briefly early in the game. She can play defense on anybody. Never backs down from any challenge. Very quick defender. We'll see how she is from the free throw line. A little bit off the mark. Coming back in is Macy Dow. Checking out is Kennedy Palmer for May River. Kennedy Palmer had a great first quarter. And we'll see what Alex Fisher does on this one. High Archer, and she got the roll. Rolled around there a couple of times. A little ring around the rim and down into the strings. Inside three minutes to play here in the ball game. Stolen away and then stolen back. A little double steal action on those very quick possessions. May River going to try to slow down a little bit. Great hands and a great steal from number one, Emily Fister, as she was right there to make the play and then she got hit. Two minutes and 41 seconds left in the ball game. Hilton had trying to make a comeback down by nine, 36-27. First free throw too strong and it's going to Jordan Bingham. Bigham kicks it over to number 10, Ariana Bevins. Bevins over to Macy Dow. Dow swings it over. Beautiful pass to Ariana Bevins and hitting the ground hard is number 15, Morgan Cronimus. That pass to Bevins was like a quarterback leading a receiver, knowing where that receiver was going to be and right at uh, just the right moment. You make the connection. That's exactly what that looked like. As getting to the free throw line is number 15, Morgan Cronimus. Shooting guard, sophomore, five foot three. Dribbles and fires and knocks it down. 37-27, two minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the ball game. As Al Hammonds fires the basketball back in to Chronimus. Chronimus dribbles, lets it fly. Not gonna go. Can May River get the rebound? Not quite. And that actually goes off the official and now losing control of the basketball, trying to tip it back. It's rolling on the floor. May River's gonna pick it up with Jordan Bingham. So I bet James Williams didn't think he would get involved in the action this morning, but he got a little bit of time with the rock. Two minutes left in the quarter. 157 now. And another foul. as Al Hammonds will deliver it to Macy Dow, working from the free throw line. Dow's first a little bit too strong on the one and one. Anna Geneva gets the rebound. Fires it over to number 11, Hope Dabalier. At three, a little bit too strong from Dabalier, and it's going back the other way as here's Chronimus and it's stolen away. 
by number one, Emily Fister. Fister with a left hand, not going to get it to go. But Fister with a good play inside and going to be rewarded with a trip to the free throw line. Emily Fister dribbling, alternating hands with the dribble, and she gets the first one to roll down as it's 37-28, still 138 remaining in regulation. Dribbles, lets it spin, lets it fly, and it didn't go. Anna Jennifer gets the rebound inside, and Jordan Bingham with a little bit too much contact on Anna Jennifer. One minute, 29 seconds left. So Anna Genova will get to the free throw line. And this will help Hilton head out. They can get to the line, let the clock stop, make these free throws. That's really going to help them cut this deficit, which right now is at nine. As Beatrice Anderson will fire the basketball in momentarily. Geneva lets it spin. Fires. Didn't get it to go. She's got another one. Linda Young goes over, gives Anna Geneva a high five, says, you got this. And that one a little bit off the mark to the left. 91 seconds remaining in regulation. Here on WHHI Sports TV. Nice pass. And with the basketball, May River. May River really trying to ice it. Working tough on this defensive possession. Silton hit, they do get a turnover. Here's Linda Young. Driving inside, she's going to put it up, and it's going to come up short. And now stumbling to the ground with some contact was Emily Fister on number. I was thinking that was Bevins that hit the floor. 104 remaining. And it was Bevins that hit the floor, and she's at the line. That free throw is good. 38-28. 64 seconds remaining. Fister checking out, and checking back in is China Fields. The athletic director, Brett Macy, and the principal is Joseph Bonsure of May River High School. Joe Monmanier is the AD for Hilton Head. And the principal for Hilton Ed is Stephen Shidrich. 40 seconds remaining, 39-28. In favor of May River, Hilton Head with the basketball. Here's number 11. That's Dabalair. There's a shot attempted and a little bit too strong from the right side from Anna Genova. 26.6 seconds left. Actually, I beg your pardon, that was Linda Young taking the shot. Thirty-nine twenty-eight. 
26.6 seconds remaining. That one's short. And the rebound goes to May River. Battling for it is Macy Dow. And on the Hilton Head side of things, it was Linda Young. Twenty-six point three. Again, an eleven-point May River lead. This has been a really competitive game. Both sides have really played well. There's China Fields. Not going to get that to go. And the rebound to Bevins. She gets fouled with nineteen point six seconds left. Andrew Diamond, Stephen Jamison, and An Angela Mullis are the assistant coaches for Jermaine Bigham. As getting to the free throw line is Ariana Bevins. Got the first one to go, 12 point game. Second one goes as well. And the lead is 41 to 28. 19.6 seconds remain. Farabee fires it over to Fields. Farabee, three, too strong. Rebound, Bevins battling for it, as well as Linda Young. And getting in there as well as Anna Genova. 2.2 seconds to go. Bigham fires it over, and that's the ball game. A tough battle both ways. May River comes out on top, 41 to 28, in this battle between these two rivals. A great game all the way around. Good, clean basketball. Great to be with you, folks. For Larry Giacomot and Jeremy Pope, I'm Marcus Walsh. Thanks for checking out this presentation of Girls High School Basketball on WHHI Sports. So long, everybody.